Now, Jury President Leslie Chow will announce the winners of the Presky Prizes for the Discovery and Special Presentations programs. Over to you, Leslie. Uh, thank you. Well, first of all, on behalf of Fopresky, I'd like to thank Cameron, Piers, Tanya, Rebecca, Kerry, and everyone else at TIFF for hosting us and for letting us watch two wonderful film programs, Discovery and Special Presentations. So our first prize for a film in the Discovery section goes to Float Like a Butterfly by the director Carmel, Waters, Carmel Winters. It describes the challenges faced by an aspiring female boxer in 1960s Ireland. Carmel is here today, so let's welcome her up to collect her award. icing on the wedding cake. Um, we came here just over a week ago and before we came I'm joined on the stage by the production designer of the film Tom McCollum and Michael Lavelle the director of photography of the film and um, two days before we came Myself and the production designer Tom McCollum decided to get married here in Toronto. Um, <laughs> So we emailed Michelle Mehu's office and it was Michelle programmed our film here. So Michelle has, is responsible for us marrying. <laughs> um, but we emailed the office and we said, I, I guess we'll need a, a, a witness or two. And Michelle sent, came along herself on the busiest opening weekend of the festival and she brought her team and she brought David Bella and now we have a TIFF family. Um, and I remember looking out, it was a terrifying thing to do, it was ter more terrifying to get married than it was to have a world premiere. So that's a good strategy if you want to kind of make your premiere less terrifying. <laughs> I recommend it. Um, I looked out and the room was full of people other than one person I hadn't met before. And I couldn't have felt more witnessed I couldn't have felt more seen by the people present. And then we went on to premiere the next day. And I couldn't have wished for an audience um, more capable of opening their hearts and witnessing our film than what we experienced that day and in the two subsequent screenings. Um, I remember, I, I, I'm aware that Toronto means meeting place and I've always felt very ambivalent around the notion of following, pursuing your dream and I think it landed for me here in Toronto what I really do believe in and that is meeting your people, meeting your people. I can't do anything alone. Um, and I met my people on this film. I met the, f the people who, who helped us financially, who helped us creatively. I met my people, I'm so lucky. And for as a human being, I think I've always wanted to be in charge, to be in control. I couldn't be. Um, I was completely dependent on my people. And um, before I came here, John Madden, the director said to me, he said, don't worry, Carmel, no matter what happens, he said, um, Toronto audiences are the best people you could possibly share your film with. And for me, a film is not complete when you've made it. It's an act of seeing. And seeing is a collaboration between audience and the maker. I'm inviting you to see with me. But I, I can't, it's of no use to the world if it's only me seeing. I cannot believe the jury chose to see our film. Um, in such a loving way as to give us this recognition today. I am so grateful to you all. Um, I feel like I grew up, I've now grown up here. I'm capable of making much better work 
because of what you gave me this week. And I credit you, Ma Michelle Mayhew, with being an outstanding midwife of filmmakers, <laughs> of audiences for film. I consider audiences, as audiences filmmakers as well. When they see your film, they bring your film into focus and they enable you to make the next film. Cameron and Pierce, honestly, I'm in awe. I never knew there were these forces for love and social change behind this festival. I didn't know that. I go, you're love warriors. <laughs> you're my new family, I love you. And I wanna say to the traveling women of Ireland, the traveling people of Ireland, thank you for trusting me with your story. Um, I'm so grateful. And I hope we're gonna usher in a new era of um, crossing the boundaries. Like when I look at this jury behind me, it came up time and time again. People said to me, um, and, I, and my publicist, publicist said, will we concentrate on female critics? And I said, let our girl fly and let's trust people. Let's trust, let's get beyond. It's not um, maleness or femaleness that will stop you or help you to see this film. It will be down to how open your heart is. That's it. Um, thank you so much for seeing our film with us. Thank you. Uh, in special presentations, we had access to an extraordinary range of films. We had a couple of really delicious, pitch-perfect comedies and a number of films that innovated with form and style. So it was difficult to make a choice, but the prize 